It's like you're looking through a telescope. You see where you're going to be. Growing, getting better. You're not the person they see. Can't be mad at the things you've been through. Because they built your muscle. Listen, anybody that want to worship God and want to be blessed, come on out to Excel Church at Horace Mann Middle School. The address is 8950 Northwest 2nd Avenue.
Lady Martine Johnson, we would like to welcome you to the Southern International Church, the church where we excel in every area of our life. We thank you for worshiping with us on this Sunday morning, and we pray that your visit extends beyond today. Through 27, John chapter 19, verse 25 through 27, amen. It reads, now there stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. And when Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he said unto his mother, woman, Behold thy son. Then said he to the disciples, Behold thy mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her unto his own home. Do you know how to handle difficult circumstances? How to handle difficult circumstances? My brothers and my sisters, what I've discovered is that even though we're Christian believers and even though we believe God Sunday after Sunday, week in and week out, what I found strange is that even though we have faith in God and we pray daily and we pray on a weekly basis, some of us still struggle with difficult circumstances and situations that rise up in our lives. I discovered that most Christian believers, and you got to understand that most Christian believers roll into areas of depression when they really don't have to be depressed because they have Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. But what I've discovered is that even through their depression, that many of us forget that since we are children of God, we have a power that God has already given us. God has given us the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. Somebody say the Holy Ghost. And even as God has left the comforter to comfort us, even in our times of transition, even in our times of pain, even in our times when we don't know what to do or how to feel, I discovered that many of us still just don't know what to do when we're facing difficult situations. You got to understand, sometimes when things rise up in our lives, we feel like it's a dream or we don't even feel like it's real. But I came by here this morning just to let you all know that in spite of how difficult things may be, in spite of how difficult things may seem in your life that may rise up, realize that you're not alone, first of all, because the Bible says Jesus will never leave you nor forsake you. Second of all, the Bible says no weapon formed against you um, shall prosper, for it is the heritage, somebody say heritage, of the service of the Lord, said the Lord. Now, what is a heritage? Just to break it down. A heritage is a benefit of being a part of a particular group or being a part of a particular audience. And a heritage is something that you inherit because you're part of the family. And I came by to tell y'all this morning that you all are part of a heritage that will be, God said he will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. What type of heritage are you a part of? The Bible said that all things work together for the good of Pillar post and, and, and the Roman soldiers had 
worked on Jesus till they didn't even recognize his physical features. Now Jesus not only had been beaten, but now Jesus is nailed to the cross. Can I set the scene up for y'all? So when Jesus is nailed to the cross, not only was he nailed to the cross, they took his clothes and they gambled his clothes. Can I talk about Jesus? And he, he was nailed to the cross. He was bleeding. And, and while he's on the cross, Jesus thought it not robbery to stop just a little second for his mama. Are y'all hear what I'm saying? My brothers and my sisters, some of y'all in here can be going through whatever you're going through, but let mama call, let mama be going through something. I don't care about I'm dying, I'm going to stop right there. What I love about Jesus is that Jesus really understands the connection between mother and child because even though he was, he had been beaten, even though he was nailed to the cross, thorns in his head, Jesus said, my mama is still down there. And I came to tell you, women of God, that because of, who, because of who Jesus is and because of who God is, he's not going to leave you even no matter what you're facing or what you're going through. You got to understand that Jesus stopped in the, he stopped in the middle of them crucifying him. And he said, he, 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 look at the text, verse, verse 25, look at the text, it says, he says in the text, verse 26, he says, he said, woman, behold, thy son. Look at the text, I'm not lying, it says, when Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he said unto his mother, my brothers and my sisters, the first thing you got to understand that Calvary experiences will sometimes make you question your faith in God. A Calvary experience. Jesus was at Calvary and, and Jesus was dying. And can you imagine what was going through his mother's head? His mother was trying to figure out my son did nothing to deserve hanging on his cross. My son gets all he came was just to save that those that were lost. Can you imagine what was going through all in her head? What, what, what she was facing, the, the type of pain that she was going through. My brothers and my sisters, some of y'all been in places and been in circumstances where you say, God, why am I going through what I'm going through? Why is everybody else things working out and mine not working out? Why my child got to go through this and why I got to go through that? Can you imagine the psyche of her mother, of his mother? Can you imagine her, her saying, why are they doing this to my baby? Why are they doing this to my child? Some of y'all are asking questions of God. God, why I got to go through what I got to go through? Why my family got to go through this? And why do I got to go through this financially when everybody else don't have to go through the same thing financially? God, why, 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 why? God bless, James. Amen. Because if God is going to empower you, if he's going to take you to that next level, you have to be willing to go through the fire so that you can come forth. Say what you do, who you are, principal, doctor, whatever you 
stronger. Somebody say, make you stronger. My question today is, what do you do when, when you are in a place of death and unfair treatment? Do you give up or do you quit? The Bible says, Romans 8 and 28, it says earlier that all things work together for the good, but them that love God and that's called what? According to his what? His purpose. What do you do? Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, what do you do? When you're treated unfair, you gotta understand that this was unfair treatment, but she still had to stand strong. Didn't know what to do, but she still had to stand. My brothers and my sisters, if we're gonna do anything for God, if we're gonna reach where God is trying to take us, we have to be willing to go through some stuff and still believe God. We gotta be willing to stand even if we feel all by ourselves. God wants you to get in a place in the mindset that
when circumstances are difficult, focus your attention on God. Check this out. When circumstances are difficult, somebody say, focus your attention on God. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Verse 26. Verse 26, he says, the disciples are standing by him, and he said unto the woman, Behold thy son. Verse 27, it says, Then said to the disciples, Behold thy mother. Look at this thing. I'm going to show y'all something, and I'm almost finished with this message. When you're standing by, my question is this. When you're going through this difficult circumstance, when you're standing by, when you're standing by, where is your focus? When you're standing by, it represents when you're going through the process, where is your focus? When you're, when you're, when you're, when you're feeling all types of pain, where is your focus? What are you saying, preacher? Understand something that Mary was looking at Jesus and seeing the pain that he was going through. The reason why Jesus said, listen, he says, woman, behold, thy son. Now, understand something that when he says woman, he's giving reference to his mom. You gotta understand something that when he says woman, it's not an act of disrespect, but it actually is an act of honor. What do you say? He says woman, he says woman, behold thy son. He says mama, I need you to stand up at the stature of who you are. I know I look like I'm going through a whole bunch of pain, but realize God gonna work this thing out. So when he said woman, it was an act of endurance to say that
anybody that want to worship God and want to be blessed, come on out to Excel Church at Horace Mann Middle School. The address is 8950 Northwest 2nd Avenue. Come to